In this Clone Trooper Tuesday video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Galactic Marine from the 30th anniversary line. Hey <laughs> Star Wars collectors, and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video, and welcome to another episode of Clone Trooper Tuesday. We haven't had to do this video for a couple of weeks because we've had some new figures come through the door. We've had the Skiff Guard 3-pack and what have you. And when new figures turn up, they have to take the priority, unfortunately. So, but we are back with Clone Trooper Tuesday. I know some of you love these videos. I'm enjoying doing them. I do love the clones. I think everyone loves the clones. And this week, it is the turn of one of my favorite clones. It is the Galactic Marine. He looks absolutely awesome in his bubble there. You get the collector's coin and everything. We're gonna come to that in a minute. But obviously, this is one of my sort of top five figures that I'd like to see in the vintage collection. I'd love this guy on a vintage style card. I think it'd look absolutely amazing. And I'm pretty certain that when we get this figure open, I'm sure you'll all agree that it's an amazing figure too. So whichever way you're gonna have it, on card or loose, great figure to have in that vintage collection. So then guys, without further ado, let's just take a look at the packaging. So obviously this was part of the 30th anniversary line. It's a Revenge of the Sith figure. He was on that like bridge when they were attacking uh, the droids and then they turned on Kiari Mundi, the Jedi that they were with at the time. Bit harsh on him really, but it happened to them all, so what can you do? But as you can see, this character or this clone has a great resemblance to the Snow Hoth Trooper. The helmet is very, very similar and they're one of my favorite troopers. So, you know, he looks great all purple and everything. So we're gonna get him out of the packet in a minute. You get the collector's coin there. There he is in his bubble. Obviously he's got a backpack as well. And you've got a lovely image of the Galactic Marine there on the card. Let's see, Revenge of the Sith. And it is part of the 30th anniversary. There he is there. That's when he was on that bridge. Uh, and they turned on Kiari Mundi, as I mentioned there before. And there's a nice sort of artist impression of him as well. I don't think that's an actual photo. That is, that is an actual drawing of the figure. You've got the Star Wars logo up there. You've got a bit of a write-up about the Galactic Marine there. Clad in armour and uniforms designed to maximise combat efficiency in hostile environments, the Galactic Marines are the Republic's frontline forces and often take on the most formidable opponents. After the issuance of Order 66, a squad of these troopers betray and shoot down Jedi Master Kiari Mundi on Megito. There's some other figures from the 30th anniversary and from that wave, I believe. So, yep, number one, Galactic Marine was number two. Some awesome figures in this line, really were. Um... So yeah, finally get to open this guy because I want him loose for my trooper army and uh, I don't want to keep these in the package any longer. So without further ado, let's get him out of the pack. All right then guys, so here he is. This is the Galactic Marine. Hit that like button if you think this is a magnificent figure. I certainly do. What a, an amazing figure this really is. Even the backpack there is molded perfectly. So when you put it into his back, it just fits so snug. Look at that, you can't even see the gap. That is just fantastic, the way they've done that. Absolutely amazing. He does have a removable helmet as well. He's got a bit of everything this figure. So you take off his helmet to reveal a fairly nice facial sculpt. Obviously, paintwork and everything is not as good as today's standard with the photo reel and everything. But all in all, it's a pretty good, pretty good facial sculpt and facial paint. If you were to take his head off, you'd be able to take that pauldron off there. And there's the helmet there. Look at all the weathering on the helmet. See all that dirt and everything there on the helmet. Fantastic looking figure, fantastic looking helmet there. Absolutely amazing. Great color scheme as well, I love the purple. And you can see on this soft vinyl cape thing that he's got here, lots of weathering going on there as well, all the way down. Loads of weathering on his backpack, loads of weathering on his boots, loads of detail on his boots. You just gotta look at the strapping, the little buckle and everything. Absolutely phenomenal. They don't really make figures as good as this these days. We've had a few. Um, but I think this is an absolutely stunning figure. It's right up there as one of my favourite figures now. Um, plenty of detail on his armour. Loads of weathering going on as well. Just absolutely awesome. So there he is. Just give you a good look. At that he's got plenty of articulation as well so obviously if we remove the helmet 
He does have a ball jointed head. He has ball jointed shoulders, elbows, swivel wrists. He has a swivel waist. He has swivel hips, ball jointed knees, ball jointed ankles. So pretty much everything that you want. Helmet fits on really, really nice and snug. Looks fantastic. Uh, I've got the rifle. I've still got the little bit of plastic holding the rifle in place because I quite like I quite like that. But I'm sure it does actually fit in his hand quite well. Um, and obviously his other hand there is shaped perfectly to hold the barrel. I'll just put that in like that. And obviously you can pose him round wherever you want. But that's pretty much how he was when he was taking out Kiadi Mundi on the bridge. So yeah, just like soak up that detail. That is just phenomenal. You know, these this figure's not really cheap on the secondary market. But I think I'm going to have to get myself two or three of these. Because these are just going to look absolutely awesome on display. And he's got a nice white belt going on there underneath. You can see there with some buckle detailing paint job so I'm sure you'll agree guys this is a great inclusion into clone trooper Tuesday in my opinion it's one of the best and you know come on Hasbro let's if you're gonna if you're gonna give us people like Revan and people like that in the vintage collection and repack those um, I think Revan actually was a 30th anniversary figure right so this guy's from the same era then this guy needs to be on a vintage style card. I know he didn't have a massive role in the film, but come on, look at it. Just absolutely amazing. So let me know in the comments below if you agree if this figure should be in the vintage collection, if you want it in the vintage collection. You may think that there should be other figures first. There probably is figures that should come for before it. But do you think that this guy would look good in the vintage collection on a vintage style card let me know in the comments below but yeah that's a good look at the galactic marine from revenge of the sith and just quickly the obviously the figures in the 30th anniversary come with a coin this one is no different so we've got the galactic marine clone troopers and on the back star wars revenge of the sith with the emblem there so that is great just a little extra that you get with those figures. All right then, guys, that is the Galactic Marine from the 30th anniversary. Thank you very much for watching as per usual. If you like this figure and this video, don't forget to drop a like and we'll see you on the next one.